Hello everyone. I'm making a video in response to, um, I'm playing Resident Evil 2 VR, um, Prey Dogs VR mod, and people are wondering how I'm getting it to work. Um, uh, I'll play the video from when I was setting it up. Um, first of all, if you have it run, like, where it normally will just display on the computer, um, it'll cause problems. It'll make it look like it's double vision, it won't appear in your headset, and a lot of other things. So what you have to do is you have to go to um, the Steam VR viewer, and you have to go into the settings, and underneath the settings, what you do is you change the setting that it's always on top. And what you do is you make sure that when the game launches, you you put on your headset and let it connect, and then you take it off, launch the game, and then switch to the VR viewer mode before putting the headset on. And now let me go through and show you the graphic options I chose. Uh, let me go ahead and show you. So what I did is um, I changed it to DirectX 12. You have to have it on full screen mode. I didn't mess with this, I didn't mess with this, I didn't mess with this, I didn't mess with the refresh rate at all. I turned anti-aliasing completely off, um, and even though I have an 8 gigabyte uh, RTX 3070, I set it to 4 gigabytes for the texture quality. Um, when I had it at, at, at uh, 6 and 8 gigabytes, it didn't, it didn't run right, so I noticed that this helped, and turning off anti-aliasing helped. Um, Texture filter, we got that to uh, just uh, anoscopic filtering times four. I, I turned that down too, that helped. Um, mesh quality high, shadow quality minimum, shadow cache on, contact shadows on. Um, screen space reflections, turn this off. This really messed up the way that it looked in VR. Um, that's off, off, low um, lighting quality, the, the particle lighting, you want that on low. Um, ambient inclusion, I turn this off, and bloom, I turn that off, and lens flare off, motion blur off, and depth of field off, and the lens distortion off, and the film noise off, because it just looks better. All that other stuff looks like crap, um, and I, I'm recording it, so I wanted it to not look all weird. So that's how I have that set up. Now, let's go into the game real quick, and let me show you something. Alright, see? Look. We're like 10 feet in the air, right? I'm glad this did this. This happened to me, and I was freaking out. I'm like, how the hell do you fix this, right? So here, check it out. Um, when you first start the game, right? Uh, let's see if I can get this to work. What we gotta do is we gotta look at our palm of our left hand, and while we're, while we're looking at the palm of our left hand, there we go. Looking at the palm of our left hand, we move our right hand until this comes up. This is what's going to come up when you start the game for the first time um, before you put on your VR headset. Um, this will come up and you want to click on VR and here we're going to click set standing height. Boom. I'm on the ground. All right. And then, um, but you don't do that until you're in the game. When you first open the game, you want to go down to first person oops, and hit enabled. And you want to unclick the showing cutscenes. And I went down. And where is it at? Uh, somewhere in here. There's um, also the option to turn on um, room scale. Here we go. I had that on. I turned it back off. So really the only thing you have to do is go under first person. Click enable. And uncheck show in cutscenes before you put the headset on the first time and then um once the headset's on go into vr right here and click on set standing height and and it should run if you have enough power like it just should and it looks okay it looks great actually and remember just show your palm of your left hand to your visor and point like you're pointing the gun at your hand it brings up the menu i hope this helps this is how i got it working let me know in the comments below if you get it working or not let's try to get um as many people as we can to be able to play this game okay all right and with that i'm going to wish you a good night good night